welcome today i'm going to teach you how to make um, a goosey soup but before we commence um, the cooking i need to show you the ingredients that we're going to use for a goosey bitter leaf soup Have cow skin, we call it pomo. You have dry fish, tilapia, and croaker. You have uh, crayfish, scrayfish, right? You have melon seed, that is what we call a goosey. Yeah, melon. Uh, we have the grounded goosey there as well, but I'm gonna blend this one together to make up that one. You have the bitter leaves in this bag. You have red pepper, you have onions, you have red oil. Then here we have what we call iru. In Igbo land, we use uh, what we call ogirisi. But in the absence of ogirisi, we're going to use iru. You got maggi, you got dried pepper here as well. The salt, all right? And here is beef. Uh, mixed beef, we have a goat meat, I have cow food, I have shaki right inside here. So it's a complete pot of soup. Everything represented inside. So um, I'm going to commence the cooking. But first I have to blend the egusi, crayfish, onions, pepper. Right? Those are the things I need to blend, plus iru. This. Take a little bit of iru. Iru is like a, a look lucas beans. Yeah, just a little bit, like a, a tin spoon. Yeah, that's iru. Um, some people use it, some don't use it, so it's not compulsory. But I want to cook Igbo egusi soup, right? I'm going to also cut this pomo to a smaller size when I'm ready. So as we as we go, you're gonna see how I'm doing it. Finish uh, blending the melon seed with pepper, crayfish you saw, and onions all together. We blended it together, right? To come out to this now. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put red oil, this, and I'm gonna fry the egusi to dry up the, the water that is inside. I'm gonna fry it for maybe about 15 minutes or more, depending how uh, he's cooking. Thereafter, I'm going to start putting the other ingredients, like the prompt. This is the water from the meat. I'm going to put the prompt inside the, inside the egusi once it's dry. You're going to see it as I go. Then I'm going to add it, put the meat after that. Then this fish, I'm going to wash it and break into pieces. Just small, small bits, bits. Yeah, I will stay together. Then thereafter, I will put bitter leaf and salt and every other thing. And secondly, let me tell you too, there are people who don't fry, who like to fry the egusi. They only like to cook it. But me, I prefer to fry. The reason is that egusi gets poised very quickly. You know, if you leave egusi in a place where the temperature is high, there's every tendency that the soup will get sour. So but when you fry it, it stayed longer. So that's his advantage. So it's good to always fry it a goosey soup. So that's it. A goosey, I poured it inside the pot, inside the oil. It's getting dry. It's looking smoother now. It's no more watery the way it was when I put it at the at the beginning. So I give it like uh maybe the next three, four minutes, then 
I'm going to put the fish. That's the fish. I told you I'm going to break into pieces the dry fish. So that's the next thing to go inside. In fact, I'm going to put it immediately because that's the time. I'm going to stir it. That's the dry fish. Yeah, all together. I will leave it for the first next four minutes, uh, three, four minutes. You can see the ebusi is dry. There's no more water inside. I'm going to put the, the prod. That This is from the beef I boiled. That's the beef, cow food, and shaki. See, this? this is how ebusi looks like. It's taking shape now. So I'm taking the meat. That's the beef. I'm gonna stir it together. It's already thick. Add additional water. I'm making a very large, making a large soup. So that's it. I put some more. That's it. So I stay together. So the major thing there is frying the egusi. Once the egusi is dry, this ingredient goes in almost the same time, right? Because a egusi, egusi is dry. So um, I'm going to put salt now and I'm going to put maggi, then I'll cover it. Yeah, once it start boiling, I'll add the, the last thing, which is bitter leaf, right? That's the bitter leaves, yeah, in the pack. That's bitter leaf. So that's the last thing to go inside the pot, right? So that's it. I've now put this two maggie here and salt and cover it. That's the gussy boiling. So right now, I want to add the bitter leaf. That's the bitter leaf here. And, you know, cover it for another 10 minutes. I've added the bitter leaf inside the pot. I'm going to give it time, like 10 minutes, to get thicker, a little bit thicker than this. Then I will turn off the cooker. They make a small gari, a bar, and put it in a plate and show you how it looks like. Adding, uh, apart from the bitter leaf, your other leaves you can use for igusi soup. You can use ugu leaf, you can use spinach, right? Depending on their choice. But I want to make it, uh, gusi bitter leaf. So that's why I choose to do this one. This is the end of it. Cow food, shaki, pomo, goat meat, dry fish. Everything inside. I've tested it, it's very, very, very delicious. I'm telling you, very, very delicious. Okay? And I hope you will do that for your family. Just look at my recipe, follow it, you will come to this result.